Larry Fine, a distinguished figure in classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Amidst his myriad of legendary works, one may ponder which among them truly defined his illustrious career. Whether through his iconic performances or memorable roles, Fine's contributions resonate with audiences, prompting reflection on the enduring impact of his craft. Perhaps there's a particular moment from one of his works that has etched itself into your memory, a testament to the lasting influence of this talented actor. As we explore the legacy of Larry Fine, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood figure. Your stories are a testament to the enduring influence of Fine's work and contribute to the collective appreciation of his contributions to the world of entertainment. We would love to hear your reflections in the comments below. Larry Fine, a key member of the Three Stooges comedy team, was not just a talented actor, but also a pivotal force behind the scenes. When Joe Dorita, later known as Curly Joe, joined the Three Stooges, Mo initially considered him just an employee. It was Larry who insisted on making him a full equal partner, threatening to quit if fairness wasn't upheld. Offstage, Larry's social nature shone through. He and his wife, Mabel Haney, were known for their love of parties, hosting extravagant Christmas midnight meals. His amiable personality earned him the nickname Yes Man Among Friends, highlighting his agreeable nature in any situation. Larry's journey into entertainment had an unconventional start. As a child, he experienced a serious accident, spilling a powerful acid that badly burned his left arm. Doctors prescribed violin lessons as therapy to strengthen the damaged muscles. By age 10, Larry showcased his musical talent with a solo performance backed by the Howard Lannan Orchestra. Despite early consideration of sending him to Europe for further music studies, World War I altered those plans. In essence, Larry Fine wasn't just a slapstick genius on screen. He played a crucial role in shaping the dynamics of the Three Stooges. His insistence on fairness for his colleague, Joe Dorita, and his vibrant offstage persona contributed to the enduring legacy of the iconic comedy trio. When Larry Fine joined the Three Stooges, fate played a pivotal role in shaping his career. Initially performing at the Rainbow Gardens nightclub under Fred Mann's contract, Larry's path took an unexpected turn. The closure of the nightclub due to prohibition violations and Fred Mann's tragic suicide freed Larry from his contract, leading him to embrace the opportunity with the Three Stooges. In the early days, Larry faced an interesting proposition from Ted Healy, offering a salary of $1.90 a week with an extra $1.10 incentive to part ways with his violin. This decision marked a significant shift in Larry's focus, redirecting his talents toward the slapstick comedy that would define his legacy. As the Three Stooges navigated the entertainment landscape, they encountered a surprising resurgence in popularity. Unaware of their newfound fame due to the television broadcast of their old theatrical film shorts, Larry and his fellow Stooges were greeted by enthusiastic crowds and towns, often perplexed by the unexpected VIP treatment. Larry Fine's journey with the Three Stooges transcended mere comedy. It was a series of twists and turns marked by unforeseen events and strategic decisions that ultimately contributed to the enduring success of the iconic trio. Larry Fine's career in film spanned four decades, marked by a unique status stitch appeared in just one film without his fellow stooge, Mo Howard. The lone exception was Stage Mother in 1933. Beyond the slapstick humor of the Three Stooges, Larry had a notable foray into cinema, showcasing his comedic prowess in a solo venture. While Larry's on-screen antics with the Three Stooges are legendary, his off-screen life had its quirks. Averse to traditional housekeeping, Larry and his wife opted for hotel living for years. Their home base, the President Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey, witnessed their unconventional domestic arrangement until it was eventually demolished. This eccentric lifestyle sheds light on the man behind the slapstick, offering a glimpse into Larry's personal choices and priorities. Amidst the laughter, Larry's final concert appearance at Laura High School in Anaheim, California, on March 2, 1974, stands as a poignant moment. It marked the conclusion of his musical journey, a side of Larry Fine often overshadowed by his comedic genius. This concert, a lesser known facet of his life, adds depth to our understanding of Larry's multifaceted talents. From solo film ventures to unconventional living arrangements and a final musical performance, Larry Fine's story extends beyond the slapstick legacy. These lesser explored aspects contribute to a more nuanced portrayal of the man who, alongside the Three Stooges, left an indelible mark on entertainment.
Larry Fine's journey into the world of comedy was marked by unexpected twists and diverse talents. Raised in South Philadelphia, his parents owned a watch repair shop. In his youth, Larry secretly trained as a boxer, showcasing a knack for physicality that would later serve him well in his comedic career. However, his boxing pursuits were halted by his father's intervention. Despite his early foray into boxing, Larry's true passion lay in music. Trained as a violinist since childhood, he faced occupational hazards like calluses on his chin, attributing them to the on-screen slaps from Mo. This peculiar blend of skills set the stage for his entry into the entertainment industry. Joining Ted Healy and later the Three Stooges, Larry Fine's versatility became evident. The decision to part ways with his violin marked a pivotal shift, redirecting his focus towards slapstick comedy. This transition defined his legacy, contributing to the enduring success of the iconic trio. Larry's life wasn't confined to on-screen antics. His upbringing, boxing background, and musical training added layers to his persona. Beyond the laughter, Larry's story is one of diverse talents, unexpected turns, and a man who left an indelible mark on entertainment. Amidst the enduring legacy of Larry Fine's comedic career, a lesser-known facet unveils the personal tribulations that marked his journey. On November 17, 1961, tragedy struck when Larry's son John lost his life in a car accident at the age of 24. This poignant event, a silent undercurrent in Larry's life, added a layer of sorrow to the man behind the laughter. As Larry navigated the complexities of show business, a pivotal moment unfolded on the day the Three Stooges departed from Ted Healy and MGM. Unbeknownst to Larry, Mo Howard secured a contract with Columbia Pictures, while Larry signed one with Universal Studios. A legal battle ensued, resolved by a judge favoring Mo's contract, relegating Larry from the business aspects of their careers. This incident marked a turning point, shaping Larry's role within the iconic trio. Beyond the spotlight, Larry faced another heart-wrenching loss. On April 3, 1989, his daughter, Phillies, succumbed to cancer at the age of 60. The weight of personal tragedy lingered in Larry's life, contrasting the laughter he brought to millions. In the annals of Hollywood, the Three Stooges, including Larry Fine, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on August 30, 1983. The event, attended by former Stooge Joe Besser and thousands of fans, immortalized their contributions to the world of entertainment. Larry Fine's journey, marked by personal sorrow and professional challenges, transcends the slapstick legacy he left behind. It's a story of resilience loss and the indomitable spirit of a man who, alongside the Three Stooges, etched his name into the history of comedy. As the curtains draw to a close on our tribute to the legendary Larry Fine, let the echo of laughter linger in the theater of your memories. Take a moment to walk the lively corridors of your mind, where Larry's timeless performances painted the canvas of joy. We've traversed the landscapes of comedy together, and now it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Reflect on the threads of connection that weave through Larry's comedic genius and your own experiences. Perhaps it's the slapstick symphony that resonates or the subtle nuances that sneakily tickled your funny bone. Whatever the chord Larry Fine struck within you, share the melody. Let your words become the encore, a standing ovation to a performer who mastered the art of making us laugh. Your memories, thoughts, and anecdotes are the anecdotes that breathe life into the legacy of Larry Fine. From the silver screen to the recesses of your heart, let your reflections be the tribute that transcends time. As we join hands in this communal celebration, remember that your voice adds a unique note to the grand comedy orchestrated by Larry. In closing, let gratitude be our encore. Thank you for allowing Larry Fine's laughter to reverberate through the corridors of your recollections. Your time and reflections are the applause that sustains the spirit of entertainment. Until the next act, cherish the echoes of laughter that Larry Fine has gifted us.